What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, a convenience good, an atomic clock I picked up using Amazon Prime. It cost $44.99. This atomic clock is by a brand, Dove T. Today, an overview. Let's talk about some of the interesting features and demonstrate some of its capabilities. Also, talking about what differentiates this clock between a regular clock and also maybe a Wi-Fi clock like a Google Home Hub or Nest, for example. Now, in all of my videos, I emphasize reading the user manual. And if you leave the clock on without pairing it to the sensor, it actually works improperly. In hindsight, I think we should probably turn the sensor on first and then turn the clock on. Like the way this looks, at the back of the clock, of course, are mounts, so you can mount it to a wall. A little bit misleading, perhaps, on Amazon.com that it's for indoor and outdoor. Perhaps what they mean is indoor temperature and outdoor temperature, because like I said, this does have the capacity to tell you the temperature. Now, you're probably wondering, what is an atomic clock and how does it work and how does it differ from a Wi-Fi clock like maybe a Google Home Hub for example. What makes this different is that it does not have Wi-Fi but it does still receive updates. Like I said a bit confusing that it receives updates but doesn't connect to Wi-Fi. It receives updates instead from a receiver which must be placed in the same room upon setup. So what is an atomic clock? Now an atomic clock is a clock that comes with a sensor such as this one that receives a signal from the National Weather Broadcast Service in Colorado. All it does is pick up on that signal. It's a low frequency signal that spans across the country and transmits that data to the atomic clock in that signal is data concerning, of course, what you see on the clock, the weather, and of course, the forecast. Pretty simple, nothing too hard to figure out, but just keep in mind, not a Wi-Fi clock or something to replace a Google Home Hub, for example, and that even though it does receive updates, it's not an update from Wi-Fi, for example, just from a receiver. Now, even though setting this clock for the first time, it was inaccurate both in temperature, date, time, time zone, where it was immediately accurate was actually the moon phase. So let's give Siri a check to find out just how accurate this is. Hey Siri, what is the moon phase tonight? Now, if we Google waning crescent phase, it's almost a quarter moon, half moon phase. As you can see on the display is a quarter moon, half moon. It's a waning crescent moon. Now, setting an alarm is easy and actually you can set two at the same time. If both alarms are set to the exact same time, it comes up as one alarm. So pretty clever in that way, but to set an alarm, simply toggle the mode button to choose between alarm one or two. Listen to how it beeps after it goes off. This has the ability to receive the signal from the National Weather Broadcast System where a Wi-Fi clock, for example, might lose power or connection. So, as we saw, great for the home and office as well. It's got a bright, colorful display. The graphics and animations are almost lifelike not cartoonish 
or text, you can see for yourself the forecast of the day. This one at $44.99 is a good option or good alternative. It comes with the sensor, batteries not included. My name is John because I picked this up using Amazon Prime that does make this a convenience good. Hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks again so much for tuning into this overview and first impressions and comparisons. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube. Comment below for more. Share this video with friends and family. Thanks again. Once again, my name is John. I will see you in the next video.